This party, baby. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'm gonna talk about modulations. So lately, I've been obsessed with the drum track and the pattern editor and all that kind of stuff. Yes, I was so obsessed with it. And I also want to show you guys what the pattern editor and the drum machine can do. And now that I've covered that, I'm gonna go to the modulations now. So uh, I hope you guys are excited to learn about mo modulation as well. All right. So if this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notification, smash the like button and share this video to everybody you know. So I use modulation a lot, right? So even before Cubase 14, I used to modulate a lot of the parameters in synth that I've used before. Uh, even in Halion 7, it, it's, there's a lot of cool modulation features that we can use. All right? Now that modulation is available in Cubase 14, it just got better. So my sound designing have gotten better and I really enjoy designing sounds more often nowadays. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go to the Add Track button here and I'm going to show you guys what are the tracks here that we can add modulation okay so all the top five tracks here right you can add modulations so you can add modulations to audio instrument sampler drums and midi channel okay but for midi channel you got to do a little bit of routing which i will show you guys shortly so let's add all these tracks i'm going to click on this keep dialog open and i'm going to add one audio one instrument, one sampler, one drum, and one MIDI channel. Okay, okay. now I'm going to go to the modulators. I'm going to click on each of these tracks and you can see that it's available here. It's available on, on, on all of these channels. Right, sample track, drum machine, accept MIDI. So now it says it's not available for the MIDI track. Okay. So for instrument track, let me just add an instrument here. I'm going to click on this. Uh, let's choose Halion. All right. So I'm going to go to MIDI 01 track. And again, I'm going to go to the plugins and choose Halion. And I'm going to select a channel 1. Hey, no, no, let's do channel 2. Right. Okay, I'm going to click on this one and go to hey, Out 2. Okay, enable that. Okay, when I okay now when I go to instrument track, I can see this out two. Okay, which is this channel here, and it's out to this track here. Okay, now when I go to this track, I can see the modulators. Right, not here, but here. But this modulation is for this MIDI track. Okay, so that's how it works. Let me recap. You can have modulations for all five tracks audio instrument sampler drum machine and a midi track okay but midi track you got to remember to output the, the track to its own channel so now that's covered let's go to the modulator so now we have uh, six types of modulator we can have lfo we can have envelope follower we can have shaper we can have macro knob, we can have step modulator, and we can have the last uh, mod scripter. So I, I haven't really dived into a mod scripter yet. All right, so I will not be covering that today. So you guys notice that I can actually have all these modulators for this one track. And if I go to the next track here, it's going to be empty right so i can do a lot of modulations for this one particular ta track okay here are all the modulators and you can bypass them like so when you click on it it's going to turn it off right let's go so now i've bypassed all of these modulator modulations and uh, let me s see how many slots of modulation that we can add per track. Okay, I'm going to just keep going until it reached the limit. Okay, so now we have about eight modulations. We can add eight modulations per track. Okay, 
and if you want to remove these modulations just click on this drop down menu remove and repeat just do it until you can remove all of them so for instance let's say you are doing a modulation for certain thing okay let's say this shaper is modulating a uh, maybe um, cut off right so what you can do you can click on this drop down menu go to rename and then now you can name them let's say cut off now you can see the name of this modulation so you know okay it's cut off so if I go here maybe I'm modulating uh, pan right so I'm modulating the pan okay so now I can see all of it clearly here if I rename them I mean if you want if you want to be organized you can do that right and then you can click on this again and if you want you can duplicate them so we have two types of macro knob each doing a different thing right and you can also move them to a slot one basically you can actually kind of move it around across this lower zone right so if I want to move this LFO to maybe to the how about the slot three okay so I move it to the slot three so you can do that and you can basically copy the, the, the settings if let's say you have two LFOs and you just want to change a little bit okay let me just um, duplicate this one real quick uh, where is it okay so this LFO I'm gonna move it to the third slot okay now I have two LFOs here okay and if I want to copy this co LFO settings and I want to paste them here I can do that All right so let me just show you guys real quick copy LFO settings and I'm gonna go here and paste them now you can see both of them have the uh, same settings right so that's really really cool I really like that so now that we've covered that now let's go and learn what is modulations all right so let me add some kind of samples so I can show you guys let's use this one okay so um, you can actually modulate pretty much anything here so let's say I want to modulate LFO I'm going to use the LFO to modulate the let's use the first band here so I'm going to click on this one and go and click this right okay now it's modulating this part here okay um, I can modulate let's do another one um, let's modulate the volume here right and also panning let's do another one with panning so with this one track I am modulating three different parameters right okay let's just hit play now and also I want to reduce the level here okay I want to adjust the gain here a little bit okay if I want to bring it down I just have to bring it down like so right and I can bring them up as well so you can actually um, adjust the level right here right if you bring it to the left it's gonna go uh, it's gonna cut the low and if you bring it up it's gonna increase the uh, low right so basically you can do that and here are the modulation steps so for instance if I increase it it's gonna do quite a big level there and if I bring it down it's gonna be doing the opposite right here are the levels where you can adjust all of it all of it okay so this is crazy yeah let's just do some extreme stuff here <laughs> and let's let's hear the track And that's how you do modulation I don't think I can cover everything about modulations in this video however I will do a little bit of each of the modulations right so LFO is done let's try the envelope followers okay this is my favorite types of modulations okay and I'm gonna remove this real quick 
So now we have removed the earlier modulations. Now everything is, is cool, centered. Now I have this. Um, now I have this track. Okay, let's add some kind of melody or chords stuff here. Let me add a piano. Okay, so I have this uh, ambient guitar. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna modulate this guitar with this drum, okay? And this is my favorite kind of modulations. Let's go and uh, add the envelope followers here, okay? And I'm gonna sidechain this one here, okay? And what I wanna do is I'm gonna go click on this drop down menu, add sidechain to the drum loop this one right here okay so now i'm going to go to the insert and i'm going to add the volume 2 okay i'm going to click on this plus button and go and click on this fader okay now watch what happens when i hit play okay so let's increase the depth Okay, let me bypass this. It was this guitar track. Completely boring. And enable this this envelope follower. Fantastic, right? So the other thing that you can do is go to this um, drum loop, okay? And then you change it to pre-fader, which means the fader will not affect the side chain happening all right so i'm going to drop it down okay and i'm going to hit play and i can still hear the side chaining happening without the drums all right so if i want to program a different kind of drum rhythm i can do so but I'm going to have this cool stuff happening with the pads or guitar sound, right? So that's another cool way of using the envelope followers. All right, so let's move on to the third type of modulations, which is the shaper, okay? Shaper gives you a lot of freedom where you can add a lot of cool stuff with the shaper. I mean, you can create your own design. So let's use the same one. I'm going to remove the the side chain so I'm just gonna use this envelope shaper right now okay but we are gonna modulate the volume tool again right so I'm gonna click on this plus button and go to this fader okay now you can draw your own pattern you know for stuff like this what I like to do is I like to create like faster and I can adjust the phase so let's modulate something else yeah let's modulate the panning now See that how I just created a stereo separation. So this is how you can design your own sound, manipulate it and make it really interesting with this shaper modulations. All right, let's remove this one. Okay, I'm not going to touch on macro now because it's going to be a really long video. I don't want to do that. I want to go to the step modulator 
and step modulator is also similar like you know creating your own pattern I mean own shape so let me create something like this and change that like so okay then add it to maybe 16th note now let's hear uh, we have to connect it so you have to click on this plus button go to volume click on this okay now let's increase them Okay, let me add the metronome now. Okay, you can see that it's kind of like have the groove happening, right? So you can also uh, make it shorter. Let's say you want eight beat. That's fire. You know what you need now? You're gonna need some kind of drums. So let's add a kick. Yep, yeah, let's do that. And I'm gonna record it real quick. And that's it. It's fire, isn't it? Okay. Now you can also modulate, like I said, the filter, the uh, low pass, high pass, whatever it is that you want to modulate. So. Okay. If you want to do that, I'm going to show you what you can do. So click on this, um, enable this one first, and then you want to modulate the frequency, right? So remember that. So I'm going to go to modulation. Let's add an LFO. Okay, um, I'm gonna click on this plus button and go to this frequency here. Okay, uh, I might want to slow it down, so let's bring it to yeah half note. This party, baby. You see how cool is that? You just made. An awesome, awesome synth line with just the modulation. And I didn't even add any plugins in my insert, right? I didn't even manipulate it with any insert plugins. I mean, except for the volume, of course. But, you know, this is really cool, man. You, got, you, you can actually create amazing sounding track right away, right? And on top of that, Cubase is always stable. So I have no issues doing this kind of things in many tracks just to make the song interesting, all right? Okay, so I think I've covered everything, did I? Yeah, I did. So macro knob and mod scripter, I will cover it in another video. So let's just cut this video short. And I hope you guys find some value in this video. If you guys did, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notification, smash the like button, and share this video to everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.